What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using a combination of Blender and Roblox Studios to produce a Luffy hat. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to it. Alright, so uh, first off here we start with a blank canvas in a new window in Blender. Um, I first start by uh, first visualizing what I really want. And for a hat, you know, the best... Um, the best thing, well, I mean, technically, you need a cylinder for a hat. You know, it has to be round. Or, it doesn't have to be round. I guess you can make, like, a top hat. But, uh, since, yeah, since it's a Roblox character, um, and Luffy's hat in the anime is actually round, I just went for a, a round thing here. So, I upscale it a little bit, and I, I get the orientation right. I also make it a little bit taller, because, you know, a head's supposed to go in there. So, um... Yeah, it would look weird if it's just flat or like perfectly circular. Here, I try to make like Luffy's line. You know, like how he has that red bandana on top. Um, yeah, that's what I try to do. I try to make a line for there. But uh, I play around with it a little bit, but I couldn't figure out how to just like extrude just that little portion. I did it there a bit, but I didn't really like how it was looking. So instead, I go... Uh, I think I keep messing around with this, yeah. I try to like rotate it, I don't know why, I thought that was gonna work. But uh, yeah, after a little bit of playing around, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna deal with that. So I give up on that part. And then I'm like, wait, hold up, how does it actually look? Cause I forgot if it actually extruded or not. So there you go, I just pulled up a picture of Luffy. And uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of like a wrapped ribbon around his hat. So nothing too crazy. So I just, uh, and I add a cylinder here that's gonna like wrap around the hat on the top and I widen it out here by um you know playing around with the what's it called the controls yeah yeah, yeah. sorry the the outreach controls so I make the I first make the what's it called the the hat surface area I guess I don't know oh there you go the the lid is it the lid I think it is the lid and then I make the rubber band by bending the cylinder a little bit and moving it up it, I have to admit, guys, I'm still not very happy with it. It could look better, but, um, you know, it's good enough for uh, my first time. So, yeah, I'm just, I just kind of went with it. Now here, I try to play around with the hat because, you know, in real life, a real hat is not going to be perfectly round. So I try to, like, add a couple of dents in it, you know, look at, make it look a little bit battle used. Um, <clears throat> my bad. Make it look a little battle used, you know, worn in. Looks like a if you got beat up a bit so I do this a little bit by going into edit or actually no not edit mode it is sculpting mode top left you guys didn't know um yeah you can change uh, what mode you're in so I went to sculpting mode there picked uh, my brush I think I just I don't know went with like extrude or something like no I'm not extrude like band or something yeah and then I just molded the hat now I am trying to make the hat have like you know like little cuts on the side because that's how like Luffy's hat looks in the anime he has like little cuts in it dense because it's, it's a very battle worn hat you know so um yeah I do that by going into believe, edit mode and just moving one of the corners inwards a little bit I liked it a little bit so I decided to keep I believe moving on yeah okay I do it with a couple more corners uh, move them in because it would look weird if it's just like you know on one side it's a little different so I try to make the whole hat look a little bit angled uh, once I get the shape down it gets pretty easy you know as long as it's not perfectly flat because I'm not trying to make a perfectly flat hat it has to look a little bit dented and then here I look back for um, the textures here you know just getting the textures uh, very important you know because I can't have a gray hat like who's gonna want a gray hat no one right so for the textures here, I just look up a picture of Luffy's hat, get it on the internet, you know, not too hard. I resize it so the whole canvas is just like a big texture of the hat here. As you can see, um, I resize it to uh, 200 by 200 pixels and then I just make the, what's it called, scale, uh, yeah, image bigger. Uh, I zoom in a little bit there and then once the whole image fits on the screen, I just copy it, paste it, or not copy it, but like, you know, save it in my file yeah there you go 
Uh, I think I have to do this a couple times because one, I didn't like the color first, and then secondly, I think I saved it the wrong file. Yeah, I, I think I first saved it as like a JPEG, but you're supposed to save it as a PNG because it reads cleaner in Blender, so I had to change that really quick. And then here, I am trying to figure out how to get it textures because, yeah, as you guys uh, probably have already guessed, um, it's my first time, or I guess my second time using Blender. My first time, uh, I made it even worse. I made another hat, but it looked even worse. They didn't even use textures. I just used like plain colors, so it was really bad. But um, here, as you can see, I added textures for the the hat, uh, one at a time, because you know each pic. Um, okay, I can't speak. Each uh, what's called object is a little different, so I just you know change it up a little bit. And then I couldn't for the life of me, guys, figure this out. Like it took me a solid minute. To uh, figure out what I'm doing, and then I had it. I couldn't like figure out how to select all the edges. And here, if you guys notice on the left, okay, no, well, not anymore. But okay, now here you notice. Um, on the left, it's my UV mapping, but I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get it on the actual object. I don't. I don't think I like the right setting enabled. So I played around with this for like a, a hot minute. Like I'm gonna be honest, guys. I probably spent way too long on trying to map it correctly. I looked up videos and everything because I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to map it correctly. So yeah, um, here's just me uh, editing like, oh, here you go. Yeah, I here right now I'm playing with the colors because I didn't like it. It looked a little too bright. So uh, I try to make it darker. First, try, uh, first way I did it was I tried to like make it black and white, but that didn't look right. So I just changed the brightness a little. The contrast to make it dark uh, I think I went with this yeah I try to play around with like the color scheming to make it like the the hues darker or like the shadows but I couldn't figure out how to do that one not in paint at least maybe in, like a different um, software you can change it easier but here yeah I just went with the the basics darker so I saved that and then I think I'm still trying to like UV map it here guys like for the life of me I couldn't find it and I think I even went back and forth with like different objects too. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. I had to because that uh, you know you have to map everything. But hey, at least it works in the end, right? So, um, here I changed the texture, I believe, from a, a lighter color of the hat to a darker color. Which do I do it? Actually, I don't even know if I did it. Did I do that all for nothing? Nah, no way. What am I still trying to do? Oh, I'm, just, I'm still trying to UV map it, guys. I'm telling you. It took me the whole time. Start playing around with the, the line budget, too. Still couldn't find it. So, if uh, yeah, if any of you guys know how to do that, where you see, like, your UV mapping on the actual, um, what's it called, texture of the objects, yeah, please let me know down in the comments, because the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. Finally, here I uh, save the new darker image and open it up. There you go. You see, it's a little darker. I just need a little bit more uh, refined kind of image, I guess. And the good thing though is it saved from my previous location, so yeah, I didn't really have to change that too much. Uh, texture looks good. Well, not great, but like good enough. So I just move on there, and I believe I go to the hat now, right? Yeah, yeah, I do go to the hat. Then I go to same image again. And I go UV mapping, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to UV map. I even tried changing with the or changing yet yeah, the time mode, but it didn't work. Ah, I'll get that one next time, guys. I promise. I promise I'll work on that. If anything, I promise that. Alright, so uh, I go back to yep UV mapping. And I highlight all my selected regions and I put it in the you know Quick zone, and then I th did I realize I don't think I did the bottom of the hat, guys. I'll be honest. It's fine though. Uh, wait, did I do it? Oh, okay, here's the ring. Uh, I didn't realize this at the time, but I didn't select all the. Oh yeah, all the corners of the hat. So like you just see around the hat, it's all um gray still because I didn't texture map it correctly. There you go. I, I zoom it out now. Let's zoom it, scale it down. Now almost all of it looks good except the the side, so I have to 
change that, make it smaller again. Definitely could have done that a lot cleaner, but uh, who cares? Am I right? Um, I think here now the hat's almost all done. I was I was thinking, guys, of adding a what's it called? A a hook for like around the jaw kind of thing for the Roblox character, but I decided that yeah, it wouldn't be necessary because it's just a hat. And in, in the Luffy, um, in, yeah, sorry, in in a uh, One Piece anime, it is. I, b I believe it has a string, like a strap, you know, to protect it, or like at least keep it on the hat. But I didn't really feel it necessary to use. But yeah. Yeah, I think the bottom of the hat is messed up, guys, a lot, but it's fine. I need to save it. I need to definitely change this, but it's okay. I feel like I did good for, uh, you know, first try. Or second try, I guess. Yeah. Second try, I guess. Here, I'm just saving the object here, and now I'm importing my Roblox character to make sure. The hat fits on the head correctly. I did this by uh, using the RGB rig from Roblox. And here I tried rotating it off the side, but I didn't realize that I wasn't rotating correctly. So I decided to go to like the classic rotate, you know, with uh, the actual axis, which helped a lot. And then here, um, as you can see in the back of the hat, it's not fully customized correctly, but it's fine. It looks good enough because it's not the front. So it looks more like a shadow. So luckily, it kind of played right the the right way around but yeah i guess it could have been better um and then here now i'm just saving the the geometry origin to the center of the hat so when you put it in roblox studio it's easier to move around since the center of the origin of the total hat is um like in the center if that makes any sense i believe i join all the what's called objects together too and then now i just export it onto my computer so I can move it into Roblox Studio and I also I believe save my world yep as Luffy Hat I believe I already saved my textures so yeah don't forget about that guys and then I open up my blender for sorry no I don't open a blender I open up a Roblox Studio what am I talking about and then I make a copy of my dummy because you know that's my first try as if you guys want to know how that looked like see it's not too bad could have been better could have been way better but uh, yeah, it looks good enough for now. So um, the way you do this is you just create a new mesh block and then you change the, the mesh to the object that you just saved. So as you can see, my object to name. And then the texture, sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not, but just to make sure you always uh, apply your texture pack that you added. And then, and then it should work if it wasn't already working. And then to save it onto an actual character to make it like an accessory accessory, so like a hat, um, I changed the origin to uh, the same as the dummies, you know, so it looks right. Um, I could have made my life way easier if I saved, if I put the origin at the exact same spot on Blender as how it would be in Roblox, but you know, I like to make my t life tough. Um, yeah, definitely should change that next time. But uh, then I renamed the mesh object to Luffy Hat, and I created it as an asset, I click on my hat, create it as a hat item and click on my dummy and set it as a character so then it works as you can see uh what is it called a copy of the hat appears above my previous hat and then just to make sure it fits right i uh drag the copy in the explorer with all my with all my objects and i drag down to a new dummy as you can see to the right and it fit perfectly so from that i deduced that you know it was right. Ooh, maybe I should add a little bit of a back to it next time. Things for next time. It's okay. And here, I just take a quick little screenshot to make sure it's all good. Thank you guys. If you guys like the video, please subscribe and comment so I know what to do next time. Peace out.